What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my shop. I am Brian and today I'm going to show you guys how to modify or build uh, your own 12 volt LED light strip similar to this guy right here that I have connected to my power box that I built. Um, there you go. This is all it is. This is a simple LED light strip that you see everywhere. Um, this is obviously cut but I have this being powered 12 volt with a 12 volt uh, cigarette socket style going straight into my 12 volt socket. Now, I use this when we go camping. You can put it in your car, put it in your cigarette uh, adapter in your car. There's, there's a lot of different uses for this. A lot of these LED light strips come with a you know power brick that's AC powered. This is to convert that to DC power and you don't have to use this socket. You can, you, you can wire in, you know, I've got a USB outlet on this power box. You can put in a USB plug on this light strip. You can use alligator clips. You can use a multitude of different options to put on the end of this to power it with 12 volt. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with this cigarette style socket because it's what I have on hand. And again, all it is, and you can drape this wherever you want. You can, thousands of different uses for this. And I thought it was pretty cool. And I've had a few people ask me how I did this on a few videos back. And it's really simple, really quick, really cheap. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So first thing you're gonna need obviously is your LED light strips. And I like to use the SMD 5050 LED light strips. Um, they're really cheap. This package is 16 feet uh, worth of LED light strips. It's $10 on Amazon. And it just comes with two little leads. And these are really, really flimsy. So the way I'm gonna show you guys how to do it is gonna be way more heavy duty. These are not gonna come out once I show you what to do. And it's just a, a lot better connection on the end of this. Now you can cut this light strip wherever you want, as long as you cut it on the, there's little marks all along these light strips that have scissors. You can cut it there. Don't cut it anywhere else or you'll, you'll interrupt the, the, the flow of electricity going through this whole thing. So only cut where it tells you you can cut, but you can cut this thing to one foot, five feet, 10 feet, whatever. Um, I'm gonna show you guys on, on this one that I'm gonna build, I'm gonna make this one 10 feet long. And for the wire that I'm gonna use coming off, I just use speaker wire. This is 16 gauge Amazon branded speaker wire. And it's really easy because the two wires are already together. We're just gonna split the ends, which I'll show you. But um, again, just 16 gauge cheap, cheap speaker wire that I use that. And again, you can use whatever type of in fitting you want. Uh, this is another, this is 14 gauge wire, but that's okay. But this is just your standard 12 volt cigarette style socket adapter that I'm gonna use to power these LED lights. Um, and then your basic, basic tools, you know, wire, strippers, cutters, um, heat shrink tubing, um, and a little solder gun. This one, super $9 solder gun from Amazon. You don't need anything fancy for this little project, but It'll come in really useful. So you can, you know, there's a lot of different different applications for this. You just have to use your imagination. So with that, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and um, we'll get started. Let's go. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out the length that you're going to want your lead. I'm going to use about 10 feet because I want to be able to have enough of this wire from wherever I'm going to plug it in at to the power source to the actual start of the LED light strip. You know, I want to have room to. to place or I want. So I'm going to use about 10 feet. And just give it a cut. Here is my 10 feet of speaker wire. You have to separate these two. So you might not you don't even need to clip it just kind of separate it just a little bit probably about maybe an inch and a half. Okay, just like that. Take your wire strippers. If, if you guys don't have these little automatic wire strippers, do yourself a favor and get you a pair. These are life changing. They're so much better than your standard strippers, but you don't need them, but they make things so much easier. So I'm going to strip off about a quarter of an inch on both ends. We're gonna get those tightened up and then we're gonna take our heat shrink and cut about 
an inch long piece, two of them. And what you're gonna wanna do is put your heat shrink over both of these. And I'll show you why you, you do this here in just a second. So, get your heat shrink on those. And I'm gonna use these little, I think they call them third hands. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to kind of prime the ends of these wires with some solder. Okay, so my solder gun's warmed up and I'm just using 6040 rosin core electrical solder. And I'm just gonna get these the tips of these exposed wires just a little bit primed. That's all you need. Now what we're gonna do is take our LED light strips. And for this one, I'm probably gonna use, this This is 16 feet, I'll probably take off, let's do about half. Okay, now I'm gonna look for the scissor mark. So if you guys can tell, there looks like two little copper dots on this LED light strip and there's a scissor logo in it. Cut right in the middle of those two copper bars. Okay. okay, so now what you want to do is these LED light strips obviously have this rubberized coating that goes across all of the LED diodes. You want to cut that off, but you do not want to cut the actual electrical components. So we're going to take a little X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut just this piece off. So I'm going to cut straight down and then just kind of shave it off from this side just to get these two copper exposed copper leads just get those exposed so it'll give me room to to solder the tip of those wires onto these little copper leads so you don't want to cut all the way through you got to be kind of careful and then we're just going to kind of shave it off from underneath and once you get it started it actually comes up pretty easily so that's what I cut off, and you can see what I have now exposed. I'm gonna put some, just something to hold it down, and I'll use my wire clamps, my wire strippers. So if you look closely at this LED light strip, it's got a positive and a negative side. And it doesn't matter what side you use, but I typically tend to, to like to use, there's on, on my specific speaker wire, there is a, 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 a side that has nothing on it, and on the other side, it's, it's obviously clear, but it's got a black stripe. I'm gonna use that side with the black stripe as negative, just cause I'm used to black being negative. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a little daub of solder on these two copper leads that are exposed. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use again, the black portion of this wire goes to the negative side of this LED light strip. So I'm going to do my best to get it, keep it flat. I'm going to take my solder gun and just heat this thing up and it should stick pretty well. Okay, Okay. now that you have these soldered together, I can guarantee you that's 100 times stronger than the factory wiring was to begin with. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two heat shrink pieces of heat shrink tubing and we're gonna push them all the way up. And you're doing this because you don't want these two connection points to touch each other, to touch each other. So this is just gonna kinda help keep those, keep those separated. And we're gonna use a little torch here. And that's just gonna help protect. Now we're gonna take one size up heat shrink and cut it about inch and a half long. We're gonna slide it down and cover those up. 
Take this piece of heat shrink and slide it over up to the tip. <laughs> That's what she said. And we're going to heat that up. Okay, now for the final piece, we're going to take the biggest piece of heat shrink. And I like to cover the first LED with it, so I'm going to measure it. So I'm going to cut it about right here. And the last thing that I like to do, and this is kind of optional, but I think it helps with the durability is I take some liquid electrical tape and I cover these connections that I just soldered. I think that helps. Okay, finally got that open. So we're gonna take a little bit of this liquid electrical tape and we're gonna cover that soldered connection. We're gonna cover it up with this heat, heat shrink Cover up that first LED and shrink it down. Okay guys, that is how you attach the lead to the LED. Now for the connection point, it's, it's literally just the same thing. So I'm gonna split this open again. I'm going to strip off the ends. I'm going to cut myself some more heat shrink. And the, this, this specific socket came with these little barrel adapters. I think these are junk, so I'm going to cut those off. And solder these things together. So remember, I'm using the, the portion of the speaker wire that's got the black on it as my negative. So I'm going to use the negative side of the socket here. I'm gonna push those together. Oh, I forgot to put the heat shrink on. Heat shrink pushed over that. So now we're going to take in one more piece of heat shrink. So we're going to take this bigger piece of heat shrink, slide it down over these two connections, and give that a cooking. Okay, so we've got the socket adapter soldered to the lead. We've got about 10 feet worth of lead. We've got the LED strip soldered to the end of the lead. Now, all I'm gonna do, you can see how this has got that little rat tail on the end. I'm gonna cut it off again where it's got the, the scissor marks. And I'm gonna just put a little dab of electrical, liquid electrical tape on the end of this thing. Some more heat shrink just over the, the end of this thing. And melt it down right there. Seal it off. Oh, it's hot. Okay, now for the final test, let's plug this thing in and make sure it works.
Okay, so let's make sure this thing powers on. So get the strip kind of settled out here. I'm gonna take the end of this thing. We're gonna plug it into my 12 volt adapter. Turn the unit on and we've got light. And these 5050 SMDs are, are, in my opinion, a lot brighter than the some of the standard LED light strips. But guys, this is so much more heavy duty than if you were just going to use your regular um, LED strips that you buy with the with the wires already on these things. This is not gonna this isn't gonna be your failure. The, these connection points will not be your failure for the LED light strip. It's gonna be the light strip itself. But this thing is super heavy duty, and you can make this lead again as long as you want you know if you want this light strip to go up a 10 foot ceiling make this 20 feet long whatever you want you know the choice is endless really but i just think they're really cool they're good for camping they're good to keep in your car rolled up in a ziploc bag put in the in the glove box you know you can always plug this into your cigarette lighter in your car um there's just a lot of uses for it and again you don't have to use this this style socket either you can use a usb adapter and solder it together the exact same way that i soldered this uh, this specific adapter you can use whatever adapter you want alligator clips banana plugs this this type of socket choice is yours um so have fun with it um i think it's a cool little project and again i can make two of these you you know out of 16 feet i can have i have about another uh eight feet left of this i can make a second light strip or you know you can make five of these however long you want to make them so it's just a pretty fun little project and they're super heavy duty. They're not going to let you down. So that's how I make my LED DIY 12 volt light strip, guys. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.